food tour, a street food tour DIY. <laughs> and this is how we are going to start. Sorry. Oh, oh get it. Plan B it is. Really hope that this will be worth it. We have just waited 45 minutes. Cheers. <laughs> You're literally sat on a little bit of cardboard. <laughs> No, it just is a litre of beer. Good morning from the beautiful city of Athens here in Greece. We are back for one day only um, after our amazing seven day cruise. And we're actually staying in the Siri area this time, the new sort of hip area. And today we're actually doing a food tour, a street food tour DIY by ourselves, which I'm very excited for because we only showed a bit of food last time we were here in Athens, so there's a lot to see and do. Greek food is supposedly made of three things, olives, wine and wheat. So that means we're probably going to be eating a lot of bread, eating olives, which I don't like, olive oil um, and drinking some alcohol. So I'm excited for that. Um, and I think just around the corner from where we're staying is one of our first stops. So local in here. Hello, can I have two calories, please? Thank you. So this is calories, <laughs> and this is how we are going to start the food tour. This is a staple dish here in Athens. You can get it on the go. There's lots of little stores everywhere, little stalls all over the city, and it all comes from here. They even have their own little delivery bikes to deliver these. It's, it's essentially. So cool. A bagel with sesame seeds on and it's probably a bit dry it's not bad it's warm it's fresh and you can see them making it in there to send across to the whole city and it was only 50 cent this is very nice I mean I could have done with it being dipped in something I don't know it's a little what. dry it's a little dry um, but the place is actually called two calorie so obviously it's gonna have one of the best calories or if not the best calorie and apparently it dates back to around the 90s um, and the inside you can see pictures of them They've been very having, old apparently tradition. this actually goes back to ancient times yeah i mean it's a very basic dish i told you wheat is a very basic essential one of the three of greek food and uh needs some butter why. it does need butter look at this restaurant we said that siri is a uh, hit place do you think they're ready for halloween they're a little bit too ready for halloween <laughs> our next stop has to be the coolest looking place ever Sorry. Oh. Oh, Monday. 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 Okay. Monday. From we... 10 until uh, 3, but you can give us a call and we can save it for you. You can come anytime. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. I can't believe it. So that place is Kostas, which is the most famous spot for souvlaki or gyros in all of Athens, dating back to the 1950s. And we've just found out that when they sell out, they sell out and they are closed for the day. So, um, plan B it is. Every video we actually get messages from people asking us how we can afford to travel. The key is to be very clever with your money, but also to have your money working for you, even when you are jetting around traveling. Let me explain. We do try to limit our spending by figuring out a cheaper route, using public transport, eating locally, but also investments play a key role in being able to travel. We actually don't earn a lot from YouTube at all. It's really not a consistent income, and we do rely on partnerships such as this one with Masterworks, and they've actually taught us a lot about investing. Masterworks is a platform for investing in fine art with pieces like Banksy. Now I know that sounds really daunting and trust me we were also like what? But basically Masterworks buys the art, you can then purchase the shares and after time you can make money on your investment. Think smarter, not harder. <laughs> We're actually able to travel because of the passive income. It's no wonder that Masterworks paintings have sold out in minutes. If you are interested in thinking smarter, not harder, then you can get priority access right away by clicking the link in the description. Plan B also cost us and very busy, but at least it's open. Finally, really hope that this will be worth it. We have just waited 45 minutes in a queue to get 
Court Souvlaki from Costas. I don't think we've ever the waited that long. The other Costas. I don't think we've ever waited that long um, for street food. But yeah, I don't really understand the concept of this one. This one's also called Costas, it's but it goes back really to like famous. the 1950s. Also super famous. So who knows? I'm, I'm not sure. I don't think they are. They look like two completely different older men. So let's try it anyway. Oh, it's very good, you know? There's no tzatziki in this one. It's a tomato sauce. That's what makes this so different. And it is just, the pork's so tender, you can see them cooking it. Wow, it's almost like, do you know what? The sauce tastes a bit like a spaghetti bolognese sauce. These are actually only three euros each. So I think that's the cheapest one we've had Definitely. so far in Greece. And yeah, I don't know the difference between the two. O Costas, Costas, both date back to around the 1950s. Basically souvlaki is sort of a grilled meat on a skewer and then if you want you can have it put into your pita with chips. Normally tzatziki, but like when he said, the tomato sauce here. The difference between a souvlaki and the gyro is the gyro is shaved meat. This is chunks of meat. Cheers! <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> yes! Mm. It is almost like a bolognese. Isn't it? Mm. I love how it was nothing fancy, didn't you? Yeah, it's just like a little no hole in the wall, huge queue. You're watching it just being grilled there in front of you, and they even do two euro beers. So busy that there's like three or four chairs out the front. There was no way we're getting sat down. I have one. Um, yes, please. Is it with honey and cinnamon? Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. It was amazing souvlaki with the tomato sauce, but I don't know if I can really say that it's worth a 45 minute Street wait. Street food is meant to be like fast food, Street quick, food right? is quick and choppy, that was not, but it was good. Um, but we have made it to Krinos, which is only five minutes down the road, and apparently it dates back to 1923, and they are famous for their lucamades, other desserts too, but We the... had them before, but at like a really modern place. This and is now... Like, I love it, you just sit outside, you're literally sat. And a little bit of cardboard. <laughs> I know, this is so local, I love it. But they are little circle shaped donuts, deep fried, and traditionally they're covered in honey and cinnamon. So, and we were three euros fifty for six, which I think is really good. They're, they're a lot completely bigger than the different. Ones from before. That's what I was going to say, they're a lot bigger, the honey's different, they're slightly fluffier, and you just can't go wrong with the donut though, can you? This is what I think of when I think of street food. Sat on a local bench on a piece of cardboard. Absolutely no frills whatsoever with my little fried lucamade. None of this fancy street food that's come in in a place that's been here since 1923. Only locals. I'm covered in honey and cinnamon. It's just the best. It gets dark so early, but that is because the clocks have gone back. We are looking for somewhere very unique. This is so cool. They've got loads of potions. There's everything going on in here. Didn't necessarily go to plan. It didn't. What we were looking for was Breton's, which is actually the oldest distillery in Greece. Supposedly. Um, supposedly. And we had to buy a bottle of Ouzo because there are no seats inside or outside. So we're standing in the street drinking it. But apparently they have world famous Ouzo in four labels. I went for the black, which he said was the best. street drinking a bottle of Ouzo. I know, we look absolutely crazy. It was like a potion crazy. store. There it was, was. There was so many bottles. So colourful, bottles everywhere. And look at this. Doesn't this just remind you of something out of like Harry Potter? Like, look at that. But I'm, this is so bad. I'm drinking Ouzo from a bottle in the street. Don't pick popular places. <laughs> it's never a good face for you. Too strong? Wow. Guys, <laughs> my throat is gone. It's 50% alcohol. Oh my god. It's like an explosion. It's making my mouth water. My whole inside is super warm. This is supposed to be the nicest. We were told that the Ouzo Black is their best product and apparently there was an hour wait for a seat which is why we're on the street on the street drinking their ouzo from a bottle which won't be as good because obviously you need the glass you need the ice so you get that milky coloration 50 percent yamas 
See, it's good. See, I like it. Molly doesn't. I don't. It tastes a little bit like Sambuca with the aniseed, a little bit like licorice. 50% no. From a bottle in the street, really? I need to put this away. You do. Literally right next door is a taverna where I think we're going to have our dinner. Yamas. Yamas. This is not all for me, but we have finally got a seat and we've come into Taverna Tachoika, which is basically next door to our place for our ouzo. And they're so nice. They actually said we can drink our ouzo in here and we have a, um, a litre of... But that was really, really good. I don't know what... What is it? It just, says, no it just says a litre of beer. That, we, we need a glass for you. To share and we have a few of our favorites not necessarily street food but we walked past this place a few times last time we came to Athens and we haven't been to a traditional Taverna yet in Athens so we have three dishes probably three dishes that we eat a lot <laughs> three that we love thank you how'd that come so quickly this came quicker than the 45 minute queue for the street food that we got earlier this is crazy so as Matt said we have moussaka we have tatsiki we have saganaki the fried cheese we have bread these are our favorite dishes and the ones that we try <laughs> or try to always have just because we love them so much so but we haven't tried it in Athens we haven't had it in Athens so tatsiki yogurt cucumber um, garlic and this one has some other herbs and spices and you have to have it with bread Oh, it looks good. It's very fresh. It's always good on a hot day. Mm. And it will take away the taste of that really strong ouzo. Ooh, this is spicy. And this is the moussaka, which if you've been watching our videos in Greece, we've had pretty much everywhere <laughs> apart from Athens. It's basically cheese, some mincemeat, some aubergine. It's, it's basically the Greek lasagna and it is the best but this is the first time this isn't quite street food but we're sat in the street eating food and it's quicker than the street food so we're including it it counts it's we're gonna, basically sat on the side of the street it's gonna be so hot <laughs> i don't know why it's so good but it is mm. the oh the crispy cheese crust and then you've got that lovely meat meat the meat. and the aubergine see i don't like aubergine and they do aubergine right in moussaka and this is a absolute must the saganaki which is i've never had it with, it with it lemon? Lemon? yeah i think that's lime um but this is a keftori cheese that they basically fry in a big slab um and i think it's just absolute heaven it kind of gets me just gets me excited to eat the rest of my food. Hang on, look, can you see that? It's like stringy, crispy on the outside. Is this different cheese than before? Yeah. Mm. They all have a very similar taste. That bit was really, really hot. Crunch on the outside and super gooey and stretchy in the Chewy. middle and salty. Good morning guys from our balcony here at Altar Suite. Can you just appreciate how good this view is right now? We'll show you where we're staying in a bit, but the food at the Taverna last night, it was just solid. Tavernas are always just solid, pretty reasonably priced. I think for like four dishes, a litre of beer, <laughs> it was around 30 euros, which I don't think is too bad, but there were two things, well three things, that we missed out on the food tour. So this morning we ran to Attica Bakery and grabbed a couple of them. The first is the Spanikopita, which is the spinach pie, which is just so filling. We also wanted the cheese pie, but we didn't get it for some reason, or they forgot to give it to us. So instead we got the Kalori, which we had yesterday, but with sort of a modern fusion. So it's stuffed with olives, with peppers, it's with like cheese. Bagel, it looks thing, amazing. It? I want to try this one first because I've never seen it before. Mm. <laughs> it's so much better. It's now not dry. You've got the olive, you've got the pepper, which is a little bit spicy. Mm. It's amazing, but it's just so filling. Good morning. Good morning. Cheers. Yamas. Um, it wouldn't be a Greek food tour without a freddo cappuccino now these have been a staple for us i believe freddo means cold and essentially it's a greek espresso with frothed up milk on the top i've never had anything like it like i just can't explain how good it is um all of this with two coffees two pastries from the bakery came to eight I euros think it's quite a bit. maybe i'm it's not sure a, i think it's a more expensive bakery um but i do think that the pastries are good and fresh so 
I like drinking just the froth. <sighs> I can't. I can't describe this to you. It is like the holy grail of coffee. It's amazing. We have an unreal view, as Matt said, on our balcony. Um, once I finish this in the pastry, I'll give you a room tour. I'm awake after my Freddo cappuccino, so I can now give you a full tour. Starting with the amazing balcony, they're actually excavating some more ruins. We literally as you have do. ruins below our balcony. And there's the Acropolis. A proper undisputed view. It's absolutely amazing. This place has only been open two weeks as well. So we're one of the first people to stay here, which is pretty cool. We're in the Siri area, which is like the cool, hip area, as I mentioned at the beginning. Are we cool um, enough? I'm not sure. I might be, you're not. But when you come in from the balcony, I just love it. Everything's so bright and modern, and the center piece, the Acropolis view, is right in front of you your lay in bed. huge bed. What an amazing view to have from your big bed. Um, chairs, desk, TV, smart TV, Netflix, it is a must, coffee machine, kettle, and then we have our bathroom. Which one's which? Oh yeah, toilet and shower. Everything's just open planned, spacious. Um, I love clean, the biggest decision. Bright. Do you watch The Acropolis or do you watch Netflix? I think you can watch both from your bed. But our time in Athens has actually come to an end. We're heading to one last island before we leave Greece. But the food, it's just amazing. You're eating some ancient, ancient dishes. You really can't go wrong with Greek food and you cannot go wrong with this view. We literally have the most unobstructed view of the Acropolis, I think, in the whole city. We will link the place that we're staying at down below. I'd highly recommend it if you are coming to Athens for a city break, but we'll see you back on the Greek islands for one last time. See you in the next one. <laughs>